Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to model in the fastest way possible an armchair and the modern sofa in AutoCAD 3D. These are two simple designs, but despite this I will show you how to draw them step by step. So, let's get started. As you know, before every single drawing the units are very important, so let's set them correctly. So type units and then it will appear here a window with some options. For today's video, we must set these millimeters into centimeters and then the precision you can let it just with two decimals or with three, it doesn't matter. And then let's get started. Let's go with the 3D space, press this home icon, and now let's construct a box. So use the box command. Let's start from the region. So in order to do that, type 0, 0. Okay, the first dimension it will be 60, tab 60 again. And now let's add the height, and the height it will be 30. Double click on the mouse wheel, or you can press the home icon again. And let's construct another box over this one. So write the box command again. Shift right click in order to find the endpoint and write 60 tab 60 again. And for this time, the height it will be 15. Good, everything seems to be all right. Now let's focus on the backrest. So go to the left plan here. Let's change the UCS. So go to UCS and now write view. Okay, to have XY axis here, let's start from the region again. So we'll write line 0, 0. Okay, let's go up with 45 units, then with 50 units, and then in the left plan with 15 units. Okay, now select this line and drag this corner into here. Delete this line now, and let's have it two offsets. So write offset 12 and select both lines. Good. Let's construct an arch, disable the auto command. Okay, here it is. And let's construct another line here, also from the region, 0, 0, activate the auto command and write 12. Good, everything seems to be all right. Trim command, just trim these two pieces. And let's have now one single boundary. So select all those pieces right and use the join command let's have a look okay now we have one single boundary and because we are in this plan let's construct also the other part so right line 0 comma 0 to start again from the region until here so it means 60 let's go up with 65 and let's go here in the side now line also from the region right 12 let's go up until here and here until we intersect it trim good and let's do the same thing here with the boundary let's convert all these lines into one polyline join okay everything seems to be wonderful good we are here and now let's start to extrude so extrude just be sure that you are in the solid mode, so right mode, solid, okay, just be sure. And now let's select this. Enter and write 60 units. Again, extrude as well. Enter and write here 12. And let's go now on the button. Okay, here at the front plan, switch it, okay. And let's construct now a rectangle. So go to the rectangle command, shift right click endpoint, 60 tab 60, okay. And now offset with five units for this rectangle. Good. In each corner now, let's draw a cylinder, but let's modify here. So use yes view again. So cylinder, Okay, the radius it will be 1.5 and the length it will be 2. And now let's construct some blocks. Select this one, go to block command. Let's write here, for example, leg. I create this block, let's copy it in all those points.
Okay, and now let's have blocks also the other elements. For example, select this piece, this 3D solid actually, right block, for example, seat one. Select the second one, block, seat two. Block, armrest, and the final piece here, block, backrest. Okay, we have all these blocks now. Let's double click on it. Okay, we see it, we have here. And let's have all these edges like to be more smooth. So in order to do that, let's apply the fillet edge command. Okay, let's write radius, let's say 1.5, and let's pick all these edges. In this way, if you want to modify something, you can modify just one single element, and then all the other components will be also modified. save okay and look at it let's put it in the other side so copy command be sure you have the order command active right 72 units good the same story it will be also with the backrest fillet edge it will take the last radius so in our case it will be 1.5 units Save it. Now let's add the color. So in order to do that, let's enter in each of those components. For example, here. Write met browser open. For example, steel. Save it. The same story here. Med browser open. Let's write velvet for this time. Okay, this one seems to be fine, but as you know, you can put whatever color you want. Med browser open again. And the last one, and now let's have a look. Check this out. Okay, now let's delete those two rectangles, select all the objects, okay, isolate, hide objects. Now we can delete them, delete, let's put them back and object isolation. Now let's copy in the other side as well. Copy it in the front with 100 units. Now select it, move it with 100 units again. And let's flip it, so write 3D rotate. In this one it will be the axis okay it is fine now let's copy one more time let's place this piece in the right side move with 120 units and now let's copy those pieces copy with 60 and 120 good let's have a short look you can delete now these two blocks and those ones let's copy in the other side. So copy 120.
Now let's explode this 3D solid. So go to explode. And now let's apply the press pull command. Wait, 75. The same thing here with 75. And now let's move them. Move. With 75. Check this out. And for the final step, go here and let's apply the fillet edge again. Of course, the last radius, it will be selected. So in our case, 1.5. Okay. This one now. Fillet edge. And in this case, we must do the same thing. Move with, let's say, 200 units. This one move with 400 units. Just to be clear, okay, fill that edge. The problem you hear with this command is that I cannot apply it for two separate objects. So in our case, I cannot, you see it. Now let's do the same thing also here. So fill out edge. Now again, map browser open. Okay, and let's put them back. Two hundred and move four hundred. Okay, and here it is. Our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.